about $25 from Target. Found the perfect hat. There's a fire one. Got tool for a tutu, <coughs> a shirt for me, and a bunch of belts. She's been wearing her costume a lot since we got it. So she is Sky from Paw Patrol. If you didn't already know, if I didn't already mention it, but here is Sky. My mine. This is Sky. Wow, you look just like her, yeah. So uh, today I was working on our DIY costumes. So I wanted to show you guys. I didn't film me actually doing it because. I just kind of wanted to creatively do it without recording, if you guys know what I mean. Because I wasn't positive how, of how I was going to do everything. So here are our costumes. This is Everest. And that is Rubble. So that is Mitchell's costume. And I have everything laid out here. I didn't record the actual process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I made a tool tutu. Michael's has this really great um, thing where it comes pre-cut for you. So I just got a purple one. Made that to fit um, myself. Tied it at the end here with some string. This is nice elastic material. I just took a t-shirt, cut off the sleeves, added all the felt on there. Funny thing, I already had this beanie and it happens to be the perfect color. This is a beanie from Vans. You can see there's a Vans beanie. And then I just put some pipe cleaner through it. And I also printed the badges here. So this is printed on paper. And that's Everest badge. And then over here we have Rubbles. Has his badge here. So this is a white t-shirt that I had from last year for Mitchell's Olaf costume. I just took off the other pieces and just a plain white shirt. This vest is from Ikea. We had it for a while. They were giving it out for free at this event and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. Main reason he's rubble is because we already had this vest. So yeah. These are just some of Camille's tools. I just put it there for the picture. I'm not sure if he's going to actually have it. <laughs> and I made a collar just a piece of felt again and then we got this felt or not felt foam construction hat from Michaels and it works out perfectly just a little paw print badge that goes in the front of his hat I had all of these colored felt these are very inexpensive from Michaels they're like 30 I think 30 cents each and then I um, had a coupon for 20% off everything I got at Michaels came out to like $17 so all the felt pieces this shirt the hat and the tutu things which was a tool which is probably the most expensive part of my costume I got her costume from Target because I wanted her to have the real thing and her costume okay, was about it, $25 from cheese. Target say cheese and that's um, the little Olaf hat Mitchell wore her last. So I looked up Rubble's little badge and it's black on the inside. So all I did was color it in with some Sharpie pen, my sticky spray adhesive and just put it on. working on our DIY costumes. 
I put some pictures on my story. But we're doing like a Paw Patrol costume, if you know that cartoon. My daughter loves that show. So Everett lives by the mountains and she's always in the snow. I think her vehicle is a snowmobile. So I had these extra from last year's costume which was from like our Elsa Frozen costumes and they're sticky, what is it? Sticky foam stickers. So I thought I would use this still and you can just like place them on top. And I think that'll really make her costume pop out. Yay, that looks really nice. So we got her snowflakes. So that is Everest's costume. So all I have to do is just fold it over. I looped these pipe cleaners through the beanie in the seam so it doesn't make a big hole. And since her ears pop out through her beanie, this was tricky. So I thought this was the best way. Had some extra pipe cleaners. And then all I have to do is glue that. And then I have her ears that stick out. These look perfect. These are good because they can move around and adjust still. And then for this part, this is just a strip. I didn't want to glue anything to my beanie because I still wanted to use it after. So here are my ears. These are the cutest thing ever. So I can move it like it's usually up here, but I can like pull it a little forward since it's a little longer. The beanie's longer and like adjust your ears. But it looks perfect. I love it. And we will be ready for Halloween since it's coming up really soon. Beautiful. 